This is Khaled Al Suedi. I'm from Qatar and I'm a part time illusionist. When I was seven years old, my uncle showed me a magic trick and I just got fascinated and I wanted a magic kit for myself as well. And what my dad did was he waited until my eighth birthday and then got it for me. And my initial reaction was, I'm gonna take everything I have in this, take it to school, which led me to make more friends. And basically that was the cure to my depression. Kids are the best type of audience you can actually have as a magician. But here, with the progressive times, people have lost touch with their inner child. So they just don't enjoy magic as much. However, it just depends on why you're doing it, your motivation behind doing it. I could tell you, oh, I want more attention, or I want more friends, or I want more fame, but none of that really matters. If it did, I would be pretty well known by now. But the reason why I like to do magic is because everyone in this day and age is always full of stress. So when someone like me comes around, does a little magic trick for them and amazes them, shows them something they've never seen, that moment of amazement that they show and the happiness in their eyes just makes my day. And that is magic. I specialize in card magic. There's this thing where if you pick up a deck of cards and show magic, it actually makes people believe that you have skill. I think it's more natural when you just have a deck of cards and that's what I prefer to amaze people with. The best tip I can give to a beginner is practice. This art takes a long time to master. And at the end of the day, don't do magic because you want to look cool. Do it because you want to give the people feeling of amazement that they probably have not felt since they were a kid. My favorite trick, it's called Triumph, involves around taking half of the deck, mixing it face up and face down, and then magically they all unshuffle themselves. It would be better if I just show you. Touch one card. So first, I want all three of you to re remember your cards. Let the camera see it. I'll take these and I'll place them in the middle. Do you know that in the magic world, we have this thing where we call what we call a handicap. Handicaps are basically uh, a magician's way to flex how good he is as a magician. Do you know what's the most unfair uh, handicap a person can have? If I take half the deck, flip it over, Take the other half. So, now do you guys think I can find your card? Not very likely. Not very likely, right? So, here's the thing. When uh, someone is given a handicap, the best way to beat that handicap is to not know what you're doing. That's exactly what I'm about to do. I don't know what I'm doing. Because look, some cards are going face up into face down. Some cards are going face down into face down. And some cards face up into face up, right? Now, I want one of you, who's gonna be magist right now, to pull out her or his hand. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put the cards here. I want you to put your hand on top. Snap. Okay. Now check the cards. I want you to go through them one by one. However, however, wait. If I go through them, yeah. again, you might see that there is a surprise waiting for you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, do you remember the cards that you guys picked? Yeah. 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 Oh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs>